I started this hardcore group Iron Man account about one week ago with Mazhar, Mika, and 9-2. The goal was quickly to get all the main quests in the game done and unlock Barrow's gloves so that we can move on to group content as quick as possible. If you've missed the previous videos, there's a link to the playlist in the description. I recommend going to check that out. But we're going to spend today's video finishing up what we've been working on. Also, if you have clicked on this video in the first couple of hours, I'm live on Twitch right now with some progress. There is a link in the description. But before we continue, I'm very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Ridge. The Ridge wallet is a fancy securely designed wallet that is made with RFID blocking technology. There's over 30 colors and styles, including this 18 karat gold one that I got. I actually like it because despite it being so compact, it can actually fit up to 12 cards as well as your cash. So have a little faith in the Ridge wallet because after you get yours, you can test drive it for 45 days and send it back for a full refund if you're not totally in love with it. So go to the link in the description and use the code DITABITTER for 10% off. Do we get access to like some gloves now? Sun Kick Cooking XP, Ability to Make Spicy Sue, Own a Hellcat, Increase Coma and Chest Access. Let's go. 111 quest points now as well. I'm 37 cooking. Let's go. We got two ham sets. We can actually death to the Dorgishin now. I didn't even realize I got a Hellcat. Look at him. He's gassed. And that is death to the Dorgishin completed. We can go get a Dorgy crossbow. 112 quest points. 28 range. Oofed. Copped a Dorgy. Copped 4k bone bolts. Okay, and that is 52 fishing. We're going to stop here for now. We've got a bunch of trout and salmon in the bank. Um, when am I going to do more fishing? I have no clue. But right now I'm going to go AFK some mage levels because I'm at 31 mage. And questing without teleports has been pretty ridiculous. Probably should have done this earlier, but I've just been having fun playing the game. I don't know. 20 Herblore from XP Lamps that I got while AFK, and that's pretty nice. Uh, we're 67 strength right now, uh, 64 combat. Going good in terms of combats. I'm actually just going to make my way over to the RD mines now that I have... Uh... Oh, fuck, I need to buy a pickaxe, huh? Never mind, I'm not going to do that. I'm a liar. Alright, cop in a rune pickaxe and an addy pickaxe real quick. Break in the bank, but I'm going to make my way over to RD and do some mining over there while superheating at the same time. Alright, mine a full inventory of gold ore from the Alcard mine. Gonna make it into gold bars real quickly just to make a bunch of jewelry for the rest of our- Oh my god, I need a smithing level of 40. That's a lie, I'm gonna go superheat some jewelry then. Alright, ran out of gnats, probably should have saved a couple, but hey, it is what it is. I've got 572 iron bars, not gonna need to use all of them to get 40 smithing. I'll do a couple of them, and then once I'm 40 smithing, I'm gonna carry on. And that is 40 smithing, which means we can now make gold bars, so I'm going to go ahead back to Alcarid and make some runes over there. A bunch of gold bars made. Let's make these into what? Games, necklaces, and ring of dealings. I'm going to make all these ring of dealings and uh, games, necklaces real quick. Also got up to 37 crafting, making them. This means I'll be able to use the ring of dealings to go to Clan Wars and recharge my run, which is going to make running around the game a lot more enjoyable for me. Alright, finishing the bar call so we can actually go do uh, Whore from the Deep now. Alright, first Dagonoth down. Well, it's time to go to the Mother. I beg this works. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can't even hit this with melee. Alright, and that is Horror from the Deep boss done. That is Horror from the Deep completed. You have survived Horror from the Deep. 4.6k strength XP, 4.6k range XP, 4.6k magic XP. Very, very nice. Onto 32 range as well. Um, What do I want to get from this book? I don't know. Alright, we're taking the Zami book. Let's go. Zami. 49 bears is my first task. Alright, this is where the bears die. Ten Slayer. Alright, first task down got us to what? 34 range and 14 Slayer. I need to get to 18 Slayer for animal magnetism. Should get to around 37 range from that as well. 38 wolves. Where do I do this at? Alright, this should be 18 Slayer if I'm not mistaken. We've only got one more wolf to kill for the Slayer task, so we'll do that. And then we'll get started on Adam Magnetism. Got some Ecto tokens. How do I even get them? Ghost Disciple, maybe? Yep. That is Animal Magnetism done. A bunch of stats from that. And we get an Avas, which will make training a Ranger much easier. Means we can start AFKing Sand Crabs with the Dorgy as well. 43 Fletching and 20 Slayer. Let's go. We got to get 37 range is what I need for the next quest, which is Spirits of the Elid. So let's get on to it. Just got 37 range. Let's get Spirits of the Elid started. It took me like 30 minutes to get ready for this. And that is Spirits of the Elid completed. 117 quest points now. A bunch more XP. 35 prayer now as well. Very, very nice. Still no protection prayers. And it's time to move on to one of the most AIDS quests in all of RuneScape history. Underground Pass. All right, got this boss in a nice little safe spot, which is nice. All right, three hours later. Yes, three hours later. I had to bank for food. I didn't know you could get food downstairs with coins, so I was banking for food. I, I, I don't even know, but this is, uh, what's it called? Ivan's quest completed, finally. Got Ivan's staff, very nice. 
All right, and that is 50 mining. I'm growing a kitten while I do this just for some extra death runes. I did some LMS for some points yesterday. All right, I'm going to go upgrade the Ivan staff now. So literally having 21 LMS points got me 2.1k rune arrows, and that took me no time at all. I managed to sell the arrows for 400k to buy the upgrade for the Ivan staff and the runes for it. Iron Man is easy as hell if you're a PKer, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god, Ivan's Blast owns. What the hell? I can't auto cast though. Oh, I can! Bro! Alright, cooked all our food. We're at what? I don't know. 54 cooking? Pretty nice. We got, I don't know, 716 trout. 716 trout? 860 trout. 740 salmon. Uh, let's just get back to doing dragon bones because I think we have how many? We have 24. We need to get like 80 something. So let's go do that. So the Wildy Altar is just too efficient not to use, and as a man from a PKing background, it'd simply be embarrassing if I didn't use it. So I ventured up to level 38 multi wilderness on my level 70 hardcore Iron Man with no food and started training some prayer. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm not going to be shying away from any wilderness or risky content as it's there to do and it's there for the risk factor. So I will be doing all of it. Oh my god. A level 102 logged in. He could have actually attacked me. He could have actually attacked me. Holy fuck. Damn, that's crazy. Oh my god, bro. A 126 just logged in. And he, I didn't get the log out in time. Thank god. What the hell? Alright, and that is 43 prayer. We should be able to log out. Let's go hop to a free-to-play world to run back down just for it to be extra safer. That is Ghost Ahoy completed. Give me access to the Ectophile, which is pretty nice. Having a one-click telly is pretty, pretty good. Um, What else did they give us? Like some prayer XP? Some quest points? I'm at 124 quest points now. Uh, we can go do Monkey Madness 1 now with overheads. Can't believe actually there's a prayer bot dose for that. Monkey Madness 1 completed. We get access to Dario's training. Now we got 10k cash and diamonds out of it. Let's go claim this reward real quick. Let's take this reward. I want to get it on attack and defense. Focus on improving attack and defense techniques. Alright, let's see what statistics that got us to. 46 defense, 73 strength, 61 attack. No complaints at all. Is this the quest done? Corsair curse done. Two quest points. 130 quest points now. And we get to use the bank. What do I move on to? Big chompy. I thought I was going to burn this shit. Bring this. Uh, okay. Is this a quest over? Yeah, I cooked your chompy. Yo, beast. That's a bunch of XP. Does it give me anything? Nah. I'm at 132 quest points still. What's next? What is next? Death Platoon and Troll Strong. Anyway, that's Death Platoon completed. Let's move on to Troll Stronghold. Hmm. <gasps> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Thoughts? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Be here, lol, lol, bro. What are you guys laughing at, bro? I was just finding the best location to kill a strong general, uh, a strong, a troll general. In all right, relax, relax. Nothing even happened. They got some words for sure, but that's troll stronghold done. So I'm happy with that. GG's. It only took me like 20 kills. We're no perp today, bro. Fuck that. We got it. Let's go. Either way, that's friendly trials done after like three hours. More like an hour, but yeah. 67 hit points, 38 crafting, and 137 quest points. Depths of Despair completed. 4k out of it. That's half our bank account right now. And we are on 138 quest points. Cheers of Gothics completed. 1k crafting XP. 139 quest points. Jeez, 39 crafting. Making history completed. Three quest points. We're at 142 now. No new stats, but we'll go carry on questing. All right, and that's poor scene of interest done. 1k Slayer XP. And 143 quest points. Do I want a Slayer Toss? No. Gamers, Sergeant Pissass. How you doing, bro? What's the best name here? Edgy Murphy? That's a good name, too. Um, Jal Nib Rat. Alright, Shades of Morden done. 146 quest points. 40 crafting as well, which I think we need for another quest. 23 Herblore. Let's go. Are these? Th can these things hit hard, Maz? What do I pray? Right? Okay. Only multi on that one tile? It seems multi on all tiles. Souls being completed, 147 quest points now, yo. Let's go, 15k mage XP, 5k coins, and we're at 151 quest points now. 54 magic too, let's go. Damn, this got hella kudos, bro, I'm a quest beast. What the damn, oh, we're done, 73 though. Um, Herblor, 1k, Herblor, 1k, Herblor, 1k. Does not give me a single level. Oh, no, it got me to 27. We'll take those. Bon Voyage completed. Access to Fossil Island. Let's go. 
Alright. Damn. Am I done? We're gaming, boys. I got a mud rune. That was the most stressful 20 minutes of my life, dude. Not gonna is this Eyes of Glory done or what? Let's go. Crystal Saw Seed. Bunch of XP. 154 quest points. Let's go. 55 mage. I can high alk now too. Sick. 29 construction. I can go finish the museum camp now. We've got an XP lamp. Let's use it on Herblore. 2k Herblore. We are now what? 29 Herblore. 738 away from 30. I think we'll do Hero's Quest now. I may or may not have gone all the way to the lava eel without being 53 fishing. Realized I wasn't 53 fishing. I'm rage quit and now I'm back. I have 53 fishing now, so let's carry on with the quest. All right, and that is Hero's Quest done. Does it give us any statistics? It gives us 47 defense and 30 herbal. Very nice for one small favor. All right, got 70 range. We can move on to one small favor now. Never in my life have I been able to complete this with just the gems here and the gems that he sells them. I always waste like 30 minutes to an hour every single DMM going and collecting these gems because I come here with the thing in my mind. I'm like, surely it won't happen again. And it happens again. And today I came with that same, you know, sort of message. And for once... I only crushed like three of the gems while doing it, so that's pretty nice. Let's carry on with one small favor. Did you know that this thing right here, this Slagith, if you attack it with anything else but a pickaxe, it has like a 67% like damage reduction? Because I did not know that, but here I am. Uh, one tick prayer flicking. Good fight, dude. Om Nahi Listic Duru Ra. All right, and that is one small favor completed. Two quest points out of it. I'm on 155 quest points. Also got this XP lamps, which are very, very nice. Gonna put them both in Herblore. That gets me to level 35. Let's drop another one in there. Level 39 Herblore, just like that, 9 Herblore levels. 1,073 total level of Bodhi number. Absolutely take those. We're now like 20 quest points off Barrow's Gloves as well. And we're just going to start getting started on some of the recipe for Disaster Quest. All right, I freed the Dwarf. 158 quest points now and some more Slayer XP. We've got the 23 Slayer. All right, and the Goblin Generals have been freed too, giving me some more XP. So I'm like farming XP here and there on 1,076 total level now. 159 quest points. Still got a little bit to do, obviously. Okay, and that is freeing the Lumbridge guy done now at 160 quest points. We've got four more council members to free. Very, very nice. All right, gonna free my boy Scratch real quick. Another quest point, 161 quest points. Three council members left to free. And that is 55 cooking as well. And that is Pirate Pete freed, 162 quest points. Two more council members to unlock. 41 Smith in as well. That is 53 thieving, which is a requirement for DT. I could have blackjacked it, but after doing five levels at the blackjacks earlier, I've decided I'm never going back there in my life because that was not fun at all. Uh, we're going to do Temple of Ikov and then move into DT. The DT reward should get us up to 59 mage or to, oh no, not 59 mage. It'll get me to 56 mage and then I can use the wizard's mind bomb to do family crest and that will let me do another RFD quest. And then I have to work on getting 70 cooking and then I should get Barrow's Gloves done all by the end of today. So let's get on with the quest. Let's move on to Temple of Ikov. GG. That is the Temple of Ikov completed at 163 quest points now. A bunch of range XP too. 45 Fletcher now as well. Let's move on to the big one, Desert Treasure. Time to get DT done, one of the biggest quests. All right, let's go. Didn't take that long to do. We still have lockpicks left over that we can give to the rest of the groups. So I'm very happy with that. Let's go. Fuck me, boys. Okay. Done. And then he just spawns there as well. Damn, that was easy as hell. Dude, I've been doing this 10 DMM straight just sipping my repair pot because I could never be fucked to figure this out. Damn, I killed both of them. I didn't even realize. First diamond acquired. All right, and that's the second diamond collected. Very, very nice. You reckon monk robes over green dehyde? Now I got a rune battle axe drop. That's nice. All right, that's camel down. First super store ever on the game acquired, and two chocolate cakes. Let's go. All right, got the final diamond. Hopefully we don't get one hit by the stranger right now. We can go hand all the diamonds in. Very very nice. No prayer. Literally just ran out of prayer at the end of the pyramid. Uh. That could have been very, very bad. Very, very bad. But luckily, we have finished the quest. Talked to Azandra, this crazy old bitch who's been locked in a pyramid for like 50,000 years. 
finishing the quest and it will get us up to 56 mage as well which or 57 mage in fact as well 166 quest points i can now use a wizard's mind bomb for the family crest uh quest as well so i'll get uh, some more quest points right there but ancient magic's unlocked very very nice oh my god this guy gets smoked and that is family crest completed which is a requirement for the whole rfd thing i'm trying to do right now 167 out of 175 quest points as well Okay, and I've freed Sir Amic Varze, or however you say the name, 4k cooking XP, 4k hit points XP, and 169 quest, 168 quest points now. Uh, last person who I have to free is the Monkey Ambassador, and I need 70 cooking for it, which is going to take hours. So, yeah. Okay, and this should be Rag and Bone Man completed. We co collected all these bones like ages ago, so yeah. I think we get a Ram Skull out of this, which is a pr pretty cool... Uh, do I get a Ram Skull out of this? Maybe I don't get a Ram Skull out of this, but... I, maybe that's after Rag and Bone Man 2, but Rag and Bone Man 1 completed. We're now at 169 quest points. All right, this is in search of the Myriki My, My done, which is like the first step in all the top quests and shit like that. And it's to be helpful for Barrows as well. Jumping my quest points up from 169 to 171. Not sure what kind of XP rewards it's going to give us. Barely anything, but yeah, 171 quest points out of 175 now. All right, that is Clock Tower completed. Another quest point. Now we're at 172. All right, M captured done. That boss fight was pretty, pretty hard, but 173 quest points now. Okay, and this should be Missile Mystery completed, which will get my quest points up to 174. Now all I need to do is get the cooking requirement for the final quest from Recipe for Disaster. Do that, and then we will have Barrow's Gloves. So I was going to go buy a D skin when this happened. D skin, we're going to go AFK some levels now. <laughs> Yeah, I took my Grigri off, and I got hit by four of the monkey archers at the same time. Now, they can max a 20, and I was at 60 HP. They can max an 80. I just got chance for my hard cryo man status. All right, and that is 65 cooking here at the mess hall. I've just been serving soldiers for a bunch. I think I can use a spicy stew boost for 70 cooking for that part of Recipe for Disaster. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll figure it out, and we'll get it done. Okay, with 65 cooking, we can boost to 70 cooking using the spicy stew. So let's get started on the final one of RFD, this monkey ambassador. All right, 70 cooking acquired. Holy shit. I can't believe I was going to boost it. Didn't end up boosting it and decided to come back and do cooking for another four hours because that was not fun. Let's get recipe for disaster finished now. Let's go. Okay, and that is King of Woe 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 G free 10,000 cooking XP and 10,000 agility XP. Very, very nice. Now let's wait for this little recipe for disaster uh, cutscene to happen. All right, 51 agility out of that. Now we just need to get prepared for the boss fights and claim our Browse Gloves. All right, let's go in for the first fight. Okay, I have two recoils on me, which should help me quite a bit. Come on, it's 17 health left. I'm all out of potatoes. I've just got Karam ones left. I don't really want to use them here, but I might have to. Oh, nice. We got the first one out of there. Let's go. GG. All right, that's the third one down. What's next? Dessert. All right, time for dessert. Good fight. All right, that's the mother down. Let's get out of here before this Colormancer kills us. Okay, and that's the Colormancer. Good fight. Oh my god, what the hell is this animation? Where are you going, little guy? You exploding or something? GGs. Anyway, Barrow's Gloves unlocked. 175 quest points unlocked as well. Very, very happy. Recipe for disaster completed. Let's get the best in-slot gloves on the game. The Barrow's Gloves. Let's go. So I've easily played over 130 hours of RuneScape in the past week to get this progress done this quickly. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please do consider subscribing as we are super close to 100k subs and is the best thing to help out my channel right now. With B Gloves Unlocked, we can start working towards more PVM and risky content. So stay tuned for the future videos and I will see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching.